Mr Bob claims on Gruen, but this one lathers it on thick. Dry and thirsty hair? New Fructus Hair Drink. Our first rinse-out liquid treatment that instantly transforms your hair for ten times smoother, mirror-like shine. New Fructus Hair Drink. Add it to your hair food regime by Garnier. Naturally. I didn't know I had thirsty hair, <laughs> let alone a hair food regime. <laughs> Who is the hair food dictator? Mussolini? <laughs> <laughs> Buy that product. <laughs> we would, of yeah. course. Look yeah. at that. There we go. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> tastes like real hair. <laughs> hair drink. Oh, gross. That one's pineapple. Mmm. <laughs> 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 banana. <laughs> 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 Yucky. <laughs> 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 I'm really, I can't I think, believe you just I'm, did that. I absolutely should not have done that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I thought that would be funny, and now I really regret all the choices I've made in my life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Once you've made a dumb mistake, you might as well. Uh... Uh, Kieran, will we buy a round for our hair? I love that you're asking me this question, first of all. <laughs> I mean, I probably do have the longest hair, so fair enough. Um, my thing with this is I totally get that whole proposition of, you know, your hair needs to be hydrated and everything. Mm. But this feels like a bunch of marketing people sat around a table and said, hey, we just need a new name or like a, let's create a new product so people find another thing to buy. And I would much rather this have been like the tagline of an ad versus saying there's this fruit drink or like this hair drink that I need to get. So that's my quarrel with this one because otherwise it makes no sense to me either, <laughs> at all in any case. Well, well you're you know, right. I, I, hate, I, I hate it, but it's clever. Uh, <laughs> my kids have this, this at home and it's like, oh God. Uh, and first of all, you know, false advertising, please do not drink it. You could, <laughs> you could be seriously ill and what? or sick. Yeah, yeah, what are you talking drinking? about? Yeah. Well, the only solution is more hair drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, personifying things or exaggerating things is very popular in advertising and it's our way of getting away with kind of creative lying in a way. Um, and it is important to note when it comes to hair food that hair is dead. Uh, if you, the hair that we see, the hair that we put things in is dead. It is no longer alive. So it is not thirsty, uh, nor is it hungry. Uh, but, <laughs> but, but, what's, but, what's, but what's clever about it, what's clever about it is that they're trying to equate food with natural, and these products are also not natural. Uh, and so they're equating that together to say, because you assume food, therefore it's edible. It is not edible. <laughs> Real fine. It is definitely not edible. Banana hair drink. Yeah. Yes. You know what, well, it's marketing. Not <laughs> and that's the marketing. Yeah, it's yeah. marketing textbook. Yeah, yeah it's not absolute good. marketing. No, it's, it's, it's good it's because... It's vegan. <laughs> <laughs> says it's vegan, so yeah. that should be fine. Yeah, so... 97% of natural origin is that's what right. it says. That's right. What is natural origin? Okay. I don't <laughs> know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's a weasel word. It's not natural, and you definitely, it's not food. So you definitely should not be consuming okay, it. But, okay, but, but, the, <laughs> the, yeah, so the, the definition of marketing, uh. Will, definition of marketing is meeting consumer needs and wants. That's, that's the basic definition. And so what we know is that, well, certainly in the UK, I don't know the Australian numbers, 70% of women feel more confident if, they have got, if they're more confident with their hair, mm -hmm. and then we know that 40% of those 70% are very concerned that they've got dry hair. So, Garnier comes out with a drink for them. So, it's just <laughs> gonna work. This... Yeah. Yeah. Really? And, you know, I... When you're feeling dry, you need a drink. Exactly. Right? right? And Makes it's sense. so... It is marketing 101. It's meeting consumer needs and wants. I've got dry hair, therefore I'm going to give you a drink for your hair. Bang. But so, it's bullshit, done. Russell. Yeah. I, Are we underestimating no, the, the no. consumer in this scenario a little bit? Like, we're, like, we're going to call it blatantly a reckon? drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
stop because, drinking. <laughs> because it's efficient. It's incredibly efficient. It, it's efficient in that you are you're actually solving the problem very simply. Yeah. Now, at the risk of saying uh, the wrong thing, I want to touch someone who's used it. As in, I want to have a touch of the head. <laughs> I do. I am oh, keeping my no. children away from you. <laughs> you are. No, no, no. Parents suddenly feeling very uncomfortable in her workplace. <laughs> My wife's got very, you know, lovely yeah. long hair, yeah. and I, I'm going to have so to. So while she's asleep, wax her lips. <laughs> I just want to. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I've got a feeling it'd be rather nice. Yeah. So. <laughs> Move on. Yeah. Please, the, uh... please help us, Karen. <laughs> so I think this is this is going to sell. Yeah. The beauty industry yeah. works completely off trends, and this collides two trends together. The first is a trend around celebrating diversity. So no longer do we talk about hair problems, which is the old trope of like saying that you've got dry hair, oily hair. And it collides that with this trend of food-based beauty. So like, if you guys read the beauty blogs, um, strawberry girl makeup, mm -hmm. uh, blueberry milk nails, there's all this, you know, latte makeup, all these makeup trends to do with food. And what that is actually triggering is something in our primate sort of minds, our primal minds, about Food being a source of healthiness mm. and that this beauty implies healthiness. So in our subconscious, we think that it means sustenance. So when you suddenly say your hair needs this food, it creates this idea that, yep, my hair needs nourishment, it needs to be fed. And it hints at this hunter-gatherer thing that means that you have to go out and buy it while it's still ripe, yeah. which is why they all smell like fruits and things that you want to pick because you need to get it while it's still good. Hence why you go into Chemist Warehouse and there's about 7,000 different products and they're all priced at something that you can buy every single week. Mm. I think calling it... So there's a whole range of Garnier hair food. I think it's very clever in that it changes the usage. This is a hair mask. Most people use a mask on special occasions. Saying that your hair needs to eat, you'd be like, I need to eat. Every day. I need to eat every day. My yeah. hair needs to eat every day. Three so suddenly times a day. you're using it multiple times yes. a week because you think you need to now feed your hair. That's yeah. great. And that's isn't what you've it? not been doing. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's deceptive, uh, isn't it? Yeah, oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs>